Day, and we're all thankful for the teachers that we're blessed to have in our lives. And we heard about two inspiring teachers who really make an impact on their students' lives by going above and beyond. They use their free time and their own money to make sure that their students have after-school activities, even though the school has no funding for them. So we sent TJ Holmes down to Wingfield High School in Jackson, Mississippi, to surprise those two teachers. And he's there with the man who brought us the story. And TJ, how's it going down there, my man? It's going well. This is me and Lance Bass hanging out watching a, a high school rehearsal. Yes, yeah, to get some performing arts students who are doing their thing. And they just did. Oh! Yeah! Woo -hoo! Oh, well done! That's what I'm talking Very about. Very impressive. Very yes. impressive. Yes. Oh. Yes. Uh, hey, hey, Miss hey, Josh. Hey, Miss Johnson. Hey, Miss Evans Gatewood, I'm TJ Holmes with Good Morning America. This is Lance Bass from NC. How's it going, guys? <laughs> and hey, do you want to tell them? Should I tell them you want to tell them? Uh, you, I mean, you, you tell them. Let, you let tell me tell them. Right. Tell them. Guys, we are live on Good Morning America right now. Let's go tell them what we've done. Let's tell them. Come on, ladies. Come on, ladies. Let me tell you, everything world. you know about this morning has been a lie. Okay. okay, so let me explain. You're live on Good Morning America, and the reason I'm here is because <laughs> you all work with Darren. Darren knows Lance. Mm -hmm. He told Lance about you guys. Lance called me and told me about you guys. You get it? Got it? Good. Yeah. Okay, now, Lance, <laughs> Lance, okay. you're from not too far from here. Right. What stood out to you about these two teachers and their story? Well, I mean, it all started with Darren here. We're best friends, went to elementary school through high school, and uh, he's the one who introduced me to these kind of clear the list uh, out there for teachers. I started clearing his and it inspired me to help others. So we wanted to help Wingfield, his school. So we heard about you all and your story. These kids are in on it. They wanted us to come here and they wanted to honor you. So what I need you to do now is take a look at the monitors. I need everybody to take a look and listen. It's like New York. If you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. So most of our teachers, they go above and beyond for our kids. It takes more than just the average to work here. Teachers Frankie Johnson and Chantel Evans Gatewood are anything but average. Miss Frankie Johnson, she <laughs> she's a breath of fresh air. Anytime you're down, she'll put a smile on your face. Miss Johnson shells out her own money for school supplies, costumes, even lunch money. She's a lifeline for some of her students in so many ways. I used to doubt myself sometimes and by her motivating me, by her being hard on me, it really open up my eyes to, you know, I gotta go harder than what I am doing now. She inspires me as an African American woman. No matter what anybody thinks, you make your own decision. She says our future withholds what we do in the present. I used to be a, a kind of bad student and I got into like a lot of trouble. Ms. Jensen was a helpful teacher. She put me in the right direction. She's known for her school spirit in particular on dress up days. Everybody is always waiting to see what Miss Johnson is gonna wear because she always goes all out. Her son, Samaje, a junior at Wingfield, couldn't be prouder. She loves teaching here. My mother feels that just because you feel like the students here are unteachable, she can prove to you wrong. Another teacher at Wingfield changing the lives of students is Chantel Evans Gatewood, whose generosity doesn't stop at graduation. One student, they had graduated already, but if you took her class, she knows you, you will always be her baby. She recalls one time her mom got a late night call from a graduate needing a ride to work. She got up 11 o'clock at night, got in her car, gave them a ride, and also gave them some money to buy some food for themselves. She organizes assemblies celebrating Black History Month and talent shows, all on her own dime and her own time. This is not in her job description. She just wants to see these kids have these opportunities. You can tell the passion that she has for all of her students, uh, even the ones that are, that are really hard to reach. These two teachers impact the school by being the loving and caring teachers they are every day. We want them to know that we love them and we thank them for each day they come to provide guidance and teaching and learning to our students here at Wingfield High School.
Oh. Now, the, the, her initial reaction was, TJ, I need some tissue. So yeah. I, I am sorry for not being prepared, but give me your reaction. The, the tears say a lot, but your reaction to these kids wanted to honor you, and I know you all just do your thing and you work. But, uh, and look at you, still can't help. Just helping each other. But your, back. your reaction now to knowing that what you mean to these kids that goes beyond just the classroom. This is what I do it for. So um, just to know that it goes unnoticed is heartwarming. And I don't really know what to say right now, even though I always have something to say. I'm, just, <laughs> I'm speechless. Uh, are you as speechless as she is at this point? I'm sorry. I, yo, I did not come prepared with the tissues. I'm so sorry. I just... It's very rare that I don't have anything to say. <laughs> uh, thank you guys. I, 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 we love you so much. Yep. Like, this <laughs> means so much. <laughs> that, you know, because I'm, I'm not even going to, you know. I'm just, y'all tell me, have y'all ever seen them this quiet? Have they ever? <laughs> okay, okay. Um, you all, and, and Lance, I bring you in because, again, you all know each other, mm -hmm. but this is something you have been, you have found a way to actually give back to teachers all over the country, not just in your home state, right. Mississippi. Yeah, I was inspired by Darren. You know, my mom's a, a teacher. Yep. Uh, I have a special place in my heart for teachers, and he was explaining that teachers spend so much of their own money for their own classrooms. Um, so he started a, a, a Clear the List, uh, and it inspired me to, I use that app Cameo, and every month I choose a different, you know, foundation or charity to donate to, and I used all of my months cameo to go to clearing a lot of teachers lists, which I've done now over a hundred classrooms. So, um, speaking of cameo, we, we have something else here for the school, and I know this is going to be able to help you all out. Um, where's my man, Adam? Can I get a drum roll, please, Adam? And I want to bring out Steve Gallinus, the CEO, CEO of Cameo. This. $15,000 donation is going to your school. It's going to your school. Now, you all have to tell me again, $15,000 donation to Cameo, from Cameo to this school. What can $15,000 do for a school like this? Um, we need some books, uniforms for our um, students. Um, uh, I'm over the drama department, so this can go towards helping me uh, fund some of my productions as far as costumes and, and uh, props and, and, and things of that nature, uh, because that's something that I really want to get done, you know, done here. Okay. And as you, as you all can hear uh, back there in New York, the money is already spent. They didn't have to come <laughs> think of something. Like, hum, they already know what they can do with that money, guys. So. We've honored a lot of teachers, and there are many all over the country who are absolutely deserving, who have stories like these, but to Lance and to Cameo, Darren as well, and ladies, thank you for what you do. You all are, are absolutely worth honoring and noting, and congratulations to the kids as well. <laughs> I'll send it back to you, New York. I can't hear you that well, though. Everybody's so excited in the studio. You barely hear what TJ was saying there, but... but a great example Cheers. of how yeah. being a teacher and you that they said they thought it was going unnoticed but it wasn't going unnoticed and very nice of Lance Bass to go and help and join and, and, and how he's at 100 classroom. classrooms that he's 100 over 100 classrooms. Teachers all across the country every single day are digging into their pockets how many times to make, we hear these stories? Mm -hmm. make sure the kids get what they need yeah. it's incredible and those two are incredible well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.